بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم فرینڈس ٹوڈے آئی ول بی شوئنگ یو ہاؤ ٹو یوز سوئس سملیرٹی ٹول فار لیگ اینڈ بیسڈ ورچوئل اسکریننگ سو لیٹس بگن فسٹ آف آل لیٹ می انٹروڈیوس یو ٹو لیگ اینڈ بیسڈ ورچوئل اسکریننگ دیز میتھڈس یوز دی انفارمیشن پریزنٹ ان نون ایکٹیو لیگ اینڈس دیز میتھڈس آر چوزن وین ٹارگیٹ اسٹرکچر از ناٹ اویلیبل سوئس سملیرٹی is an online tool that is used for ligand based virtual screening it's a very simple tool and very easy to use it takes your known ligand as an input and then it uh, scans this known ligand against several small molecular libraries the libraries that it can scan include ligand expo glass drug bank zinc chemvl chebi HMDB, etc. The Swiss Similarity team has prepared the molecules for the above mentioned libraries according to a proper protocol. The protocol or the pipeline they followed for the preparation of uh, the molecules for those libraries is explained below. They first downloaded the smiles of molecules from the above mentioned libraries. After that, they removed molecules whose molecular mass was greater than 1500 mg. After that, they removed counter ions of the salts. And then they neutralized the compounds. After that, the most frequent tautomer was identified. and then most frequent protonation state at ph 7.4 was identified and all of these four steps that is from 3a to 3d they were performed using a tool called chem exon this tool is available online and you can download it after that the next step was that they deleted all the molecules except those that contained hydrogen carbon nitrogen oxygen sulfur phosphorus boron fluorine carbon bromine and iodine atoms other molecules that contained atoms other than these given atoms they were deleted for this purpose they used a tool called structure checker program then they generated 3d conformers of molecules using mole convert program Okay so this was uh, the method they followed for preparing the molecules for the libraries for screening now let me tell you about the available methods with swiss similarity that it uses to virtual screen the above mentioned libraries the methods include fp2 molecular fingerprints electroshape 5d spectrophores shape it and align it methods Another method they use is called combined score. We don't know what these methods are and how they screen the libraries. To know about what are these methods and how they screen the above mentioned libraries, you will have to go to the frequently asked question section that is FAQ section on the Swiss Similarity website. So for these details, you will have to open this link. After you open this link you will see answers to all your questions and you will see the details about these methods that they use for screening the library so all the details are available in their FAQ section about these methods now the tutorial how to use this swiss similarity tool for your known ligand to screen the available libraries in this tool as this tutorial is made for the beginners so let me start from the scratch first of all you will have to open google after that you will have to type swiss drug design or you can also type uh, swiss similarity directly in the google but uh, let me uh, take you to the main page of this tool uh, which is called swiss drug design and you will see other tools are also available on this page so type swiss drug design and then click enter so it will search for you the swiss drug design tool okay this page will open and now you will have to click this link after you click this link you will be taken to this page 
and this is the main page of Swiss drug design. You can see different tools are available on this page. The first tool you can see is Swiss Doc, then Swiss Param, Swiss Side Chains, Swiss Bio ISO Steer, uh, Swiss Target Prediction, Swiss Similarity, and Swiss Admi. As we are going to use uh, their Swiss Similarity tool, so we will have to click Swiss Similarity tool. Here on this page, you see two areas that you can use for drawing your known ligand. The first area on the left side is a box where you can paste your smile of the known ligand. Or you can use this area given on the right side to draw your structure. You can paste your known ligand smile here. The smile is composed of different symbols. You can see it is composed of uh, symbols of uh, different elements. Or you can use these tools to draw your structure in this area. These are the different tools that you can use to draw your structure in this given area. When you draw the structure or paste the smile, then you will have to go to the second section. The second section you can see is uh, the choose a method and a library to screen. For this, to choose the library, you will have to scroll down first so scroll down. On this page, you can see the uh, library's names, which you can screen against your known ligand. And there are methods, which I showed you in the previous slides. That is combined method, FP2, fingerprints, electroshape, spectral force, shape IT, or align IT. You can see on this page that there are empty circles given. You will have to click one of these circles. You can only click or select only one circle on this given page. For example, you clicked on this circle. It would mean that you want to screen this library, FDA approved drugs, and the method you want to use is FP2 fingerprint method for screening the library. Or you can select this empty circle, and this circle will automatically disappear when you select second circle because you cannot select two or more than two libraries or the methods. If you select this circle, it would mean that you want to use, you want to screen uh, zinc lead like libraries and you want to use the method electroshape for screening this library. If you select this empty circle, then it means that you want to use the combined method to screen ligand from the PDB library for screening. When you select any one of these circles from this page, then you will have to go back to the previous page, to the above page. When you scroll up, you will see this button highlighted in red color, the submit button. So you will have to click this submit button. After you click this submit button, your result will be available in few seconds or few minutes. So here is your result page. These three ligands were identified as similar ligands to your known ligand which is given over here and uh, using the method you selected and the library you selected. This is the reference. If you used the Swiss similarity tool for identifying the similar ligands to your known ligand, then you will have to cite this reference in your thesis or in your paper. I will also recommend you to read this article because you will find information about the Swiss similarity tool in this paper and you will better understand what Swiss similarity tool is and how to use and what are the methods and and how they screen the mentioned library. There are uh, different icons below each structure. So let me explain about those icons, what they do. First, this smiley is used to get smiles of these molecules. The second icon, that is uh, a capsule-like icon, is used to see the admit properties of this ligand. The third is this icon, which is used for the target prediction for the given structure. You can predict the target to which this structure can bind to. And the last icon, the two persons standing, can be used for similarity searches for the given structure. You can use these tools to download your results.
Let me click this icon and it will download your results in CSV form. If you click this icon, your results will be downloaded in the CSV form, which you can open using your Excel program. These are the results that I have downloaded from the page, from the result page. Here you will see different columns. The first column will contain the drug bank IDs of the identified compounds. The second one shows the similarity score. The third one shows the usual name for those compounds. This last column contains the smiles of the molecules. You can use these smiles to download uh, these compounds from either drug bank using its code or from zinc library using its name or smile. You can use other databases as well for this purpose. So this was all for today. Thank you for watching the video. Bye.